Okay, this is fake. As a little girl, I was drawing pictures under my desk. Yeah, there were strict times for me, as all my friends seemed to be able to express themselves freely. Hiding my passion for creation was not easy, especially when surrounded with people that believed that the life is nothing but struggle and hard work. In my teenage years, I managed to free myself from some of the society stereotypes and was able to express myself in the form of writing such as diaries, essays and poems. But also some more drawing alongside those writings which most of the times were rebellious and dark art. In teenage years, the person is more sensitive to the outside world and emotions and feelings are exaggerated. Looking back, self-expression in a form of art was all I needed to progress through the stages of life. When we let it all out, we free ourselves from the mental prison. I returned back to the college. I finished it with A-levels in the language. My headmaster noticed the potential in me and suggested that I apply for a freelance journalist position in the region newspaper, which I did with a little hesitation because of my past paradigms lying in my subconscious mind and time to time whispering to me that expressing self with the art is a waste, waste of, of time. time. <laughs> Eventually I started to work in a newspaper and enrolled in the university to study psychology and teach with the regret, or luckily, I didn't stay in the university and decided to leave my country to learn English language instead. To be able to communicate not only with people who spoke in my language, but with everyone, with every single one in this world. I believe that things happen for a reason, or shall I say, where we should be going as long as we listen to our hearts. So I did. The first years were a proper struggle, not knowing the language, unable to express myself. On the other side, while speaking up the language, I finally started to experiment with painting the pictures, since this seemed to be the only way at that moment to exercise my creative being. I knew I got it within me, I just had to polish the skill. <laughs> Since I live abroad, I have painted abstract paintings, portraits, sea views, landscapes, scenery, still art, etc, etc. I have produced some outstanding work that has won me a platinum, gold, silver and bronze awards in a Stedford Art Festival. I have won few trophies, risen money for Teenage Cancer Trust, have produced digital illustrations for the gallery, magazine and talenthouse.com. I work with different mediums, starting from the ordinary acrylic paints to outdoor and spray paints. I also do a lot of DIY and craft projects, working with wood, clay, paste, plaster tiles, pebble shells, you name it. And in the future, I want to try my hand in creating sculptures and street art. For the past year, I have committed to finally embrace and polish my other talents, such as photography and filmmaking, and find use of them in real life. Since I am the journalist in my preferred profession and very passionate about the psychology, I love to meet new people and this summer I attended some public events and made few decent short films. All that and everything else you can find on my free Facebook pages where I display all my creative work and communicate with my followers. I'm going to put the links in the description below if you want to check them out. As time passed, I slowly started to lean towards transformations rather than present myself with a blank canvas. I love to transform my old paintings into new, more relevant, up-to-date art. Only recently I realized that I'm actually creating pop art 
or something similar where the old layers are somewhere still visible but the new ones give to the painting another perspective and meaning. Very possibly my art style could be called PRU, which in my case stands for Past Reality Utilized. is a reflection of an artist's mind. We should work with what's already there, such as past experiences, lessons learned, memories, etc. Combining that with the up-to-date vision and mold them into a completely new, bold, standout masterpiece. We cannot delete the past and neither should we pretend that it never happened to us. Rather, we should embrace and learn from it in order to become better individuals, enabling ourselves to create better life for us and those around. I always love to paint some kind of living creatures and believe me, I have tried hard to move away from that creating all sorts but funny enough only to return and finally embrace what I like to paint the most. Some of my characters can be recognizable but some are totally imaginary fantasy characters and can appear rather scary at first but once you get to know them, they are all fun creatures and should be viewed with open mind. Studies shown that if everyone tried to draw a fantasy character, the world would be a much happier place overall. <laughs> when you think most of the people never try to do anything creative since being classified as adults, imagine the build up of stagnating static energy that in turn can trigger various health problems such as depression, addiction, stress. <laughs> Energy that has put in use, namely put in motion, becomes a cosmic energy that simultaneously connects with all else. When I create, I lose myself completely in an absolutely different world, world that never lacks colors, lights, sounds, taste. This is the world I know the best, as I have spent most of my life there. In the past, to escape from the bitter reality, later in life, to enter the different dimensions and connect with the depths of my very being and utilize the past realities. I can then come back stronger and immune to the judgment of outside world and I can continue to live happily amongst all the other humans and be able to operate clearly under the influences of the vast amount of chaotic vibrational energies produced and emanated by all the other 